It's the ultimate tailgate event at Naples Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. 2014 Jeep Cherokee Sport, $199 a month lease. Get an extra $500 trade assistance during the Jeep Celebration event at NaplesHasIt.com. NaplesHasIt.com. Hey, greetings football fans. Welcome to the Prep Zone Preview Week 10. Brought to you as always by Naples Dodge Chrysler Jeep. Now we're into the home stretch where every game has a whole lot of meaning. So to get us started, we got John Weber with his breakdown. Hello football fans, Coach John Weber. Week 10 of the high school football season. All the districts should be decided by the time the games are over Friday night. Maybe. A lot happened last week. Baron Kyer, in a great team effort, upsets the Sharks, they spank them. And all of a sudden, the 6A game at Naples this week between Barron and Naples is for the district title. A Cougar win, and they're the district champs, and Naples is the runner-up. Hold on, folks. If Naples wins, we've got a three-way tie between the Cougars, the Sharks, and the Bears, and it will be decided the following Monday. Great football game at Naples High this week. And in our spotlight game, there's no ifs, ands, and buts. This is for the marbles. The Immokalee Indians travel to Laley. The winner is the district champ. And joining me is the head coach of the Indians, Rich Dombrowski. Coach, needless to say, it's certainly been an up and down season in a lot of ways. You're sitting here at four and four but nobody can say that you played a soft schedule. No, no, not at all. (laughs) You've played four teams that were ranked, and you're going to play another one to end the season. You're going to play five ranked teams. You certainly, I don't think the pressure of playing for the district title is going to affect your kids this week. No, you know, we set the schedule up last year um, with opening up with uh, 818 Park Vista and then Clewiston and then Westminster Christian and ending with – um, you know, South Fort Myers to prepare us for the playoffs, you know, and to prepare us for our district, knowing we didn't want to go into district play thinking, you know, we haven't seen, you know, a, a tough team or a fast team or a physical team. We've seen it. We're ready. And the good clubs do that. They go out and they schedule, but a lot of times people don't understand. And you and I both know this club has been very good for a long time. And all of a sudden it becomes very difficult to find people to play unless you move up in class to find them. Oh, of course, you know, uh, you know, when we were setting a schedule up, you know, we were calling everybody and their brother and nobody would return phone calls. And then when uh, First Baptist dropped us and we needed a game, you know, we had to, you know, entice Miami Westminster Christian and they're a ranked 3A team to come over and play us. So it, it was tough. Well, this week, it's a district title. The home team or the team that wins this has got home field advantage, and the team that is the runner-up is going to have to go on the road. Laley, I think, is one of the best defensive football teams in the whole area. They like to run the football. you got to give the old coach a little bit of game plan here. Well, you know what? You couldn't have said it better. Their defense flies around. We think they, we, we know they, they run sideline to sideline well. Uh, they rally to the ball. They're physical. They're tough. Their linebackers move around. You know, they had a ton of sacks. We went and scouted them against Sebring. Uh, Kendall Duckworth is, you know, he bounces around. You never know if he's coming or not. Um, we've got to play smart football. You know, I told the kids going in, we've got to play a good first quarter, not turn the ball over, not give Laley a cheap touchdown, be it special teams, offense, or defense, uh, and play solid ball. And, you know, I think we've got a shot. Well, folks, I think this one's going to be a low-scoring affair. You're talking about two pretty good defensive football teams. Lele likes to run the football. Immokalee's pretty balanced. Folks, you're running out of day. The 2A district could also end up in a three-way tie this week. You got a lot of opportunity, but you need to go see a game. You're running out of games. It's the best show in town. Now every player wants to leave a lasting legacy behind when they graduate. And nowhere is that more important here in the community of Immokalee. So for more on that, we've got defensive back Jamon Thomas, who's going for his fourth straight district title as a player at the varsity level in this week's Player Spotlight. Uh, it, it's all on us right now. We've been doing it four years, four or five years straight, and uh, 
we're gonna be the class of remember that like, if we if we get that championship or if we don't. So it's all on us right now. Oh, it, it's important. Like the kids coming up, they gonna be like, uh, they want to continue this legacy. Like we we need to continue it, and like we gotta keep it so they can continue the legacy and what we bring in. Uh, we know they have a good running back, Tupac. We respect him and what he can do. So we gotta work on uh, our tackling. But that's it. Okay. Any uh, thoughts or predictions? No, it's gonna be a hard fought game. Both teams want it bad, so both teams will go out and fight to one successful. Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. That does our show this week. Don't forget to stay with Prep Zone all week. We've got your news, notes, analysis, videos, photos, everything you could possibly want to get you ready for this Friday night and uh, carry you over into the off season. So until next week, we've got you covered.